all stars. And like I said, this is a freestyle interview. Yeah, uh, More just talk how many are my Nigerian people. So tell me how football, how and where did it all start? Uh, it started um, back in Akure. Because oh, you were born in Akure? Yeah, I was born and brought up in Akure, um, military barrack. And so my, I grew up with my granddad. So I was in the military then, so I grew up there. So right from, yeah, let me try to see if I can remember. I have like my senior brothers. I call them senior brothers because I grew up with them, but they are like my uncle because I'm the only child of my mom. So I grew up together with them. So I call them my brothers. They also they like, they are good also in football, you understand? They play like, play for fun. Because when you live in Barak, it's only one thing that to the edge to football. No, 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 to join military. To oh, to yeah. So most okay. of them, they didn't have like the opportunity to like take it so serious. So we we're just coming out after school during the evening time just to play for fun. But me, I didn't, I didn't have that. Like, okay, I'm just playing this for fun. I took it like so serious. Like, okay, this is something I want to play in the future. If you, if you can call my grandma or any. My family member they can tell you like there's something I say, okay, this is what I want to become in life. Like I don't care about school, you understand? So I was schooling in um my primary school was inside barrack, so we don't have the exposure of coming out for trial. Yeah, yeah. We're just playing straight football until I um I went to secondary school. Yeah. So during my secondary school level, my first year Secondary school. I remember That's GSS one. my yeah my GSS one. So I remember then my I have like some friends from the barrack who started before me, like three weeks already before me. So when I came during that period, like I came like so late, like they want to like start interclass. You understand like interclass competition. Yeah. So I was so late in that section that most of the town guys because they know me in Barra that okay I know how to play football but yeah, they are being a bit. yeah but the outsider <laughs> doesn't know like so okay. I have this friend who was telling them, oh, you need to include this guy's name on the, because you need to submit a list of eight players. Yeah. So they said, you need to put this guy's name in the list, like, he's so good. They said, no, we don't know this guy, I haven't played with us. So, okay, we have break in, like, next <laughs> one hour time. When you play, then you can decide okay. if you can put oh, nice. this name. So I remember in the break time, they chose me and the boy from Barak. We, we killed, it uh, we killed <laughs> this guy, so they put my name. Mm. On the on the list on the list for inter class. So the first match we played, we won like three. We beat like just two. So mm. there's this coach that was uh, in charge of this inter class team of the school. So he saw me, he really liked me. So he took me. We started. He started his academy with me with some other boys. Oh. So during that time, I was playing for the school team. Mm. Because after so, the inter class, they invited me for the school team. So I was playing for the school team. So I have to go to training okay. again. So like the five academy, o'clock. The, the, ac- the, the man put Yeah, the man put like young players like us so in the academy. So from there started playing from school. So from school to academy training again. From academy. Sometime when I'm coming back inside Barak also because I need to train. Oh. I was thinking like it seven, you know, Barak children. Paint that picture. How far is the uh, from your school, how far is it from your school to Barak? And you walk from school yeah, to yeah. Barak almost every day, or every um, day? Not like almost every day because normally they give us like 15 era. I remember for school bus, yes. Saturday, but there's one I can never forget. There's one I'm guy, I said it's oil, it's sweet, and it's fat. Part. Yeah. So if you enter and school bus, 50. if you enter <laughs> school bus, you know the chop sweet and it has. So you, you wear your yes, option. Yeah, sometimes we trek, we trek Barak children. They know us, we are stubborn. We we'll like, we we'll trek. It's like it's not far though, it's like 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Then from the school to the uh, training ground, it's like almost 15 minutes. So we just trek. So that's more of like um, put it together for the five minutes. Yeah, for the five minutes. Between yeah. your your school to your training session, going to going, going, going back. back home. Home. And sometimes wow. I, I see someone that will take me home or take that. Sometimes I'm tired. Mm-hmm. But it was not just me alone, some guys on the back, so we we're like five of us, so, so we just trek. The journey will, yeah, I mean, with them will be yeah, very yeah. easy. All right, now, who, I mean, you mentioned this um, coach now, who gave you the, I mean, who invited you to the academy, started with you boys and, you know, uh, with you lads. Yeah. Who at any point said, this guy will become a professional, you know, 
Take a bet on you. When was that one? I think my family member. Yeah. If you ask most people that play football, I don't know, they will tell you that their father wants them to be doctor or something. Yeah. But me, I have that privilege right from small that they know that I don't have anything to do with it. The school I'm just going to, okay, because I'm going to school. Yeah. But they know right from small, like, okay. Just, just to get a basic education, but yeah, they know that they this know. one. Like, La football. They, maybe they didn't, like, say, like, say in a way, like, it yeah. will make it to pro. Mm -hmm. But they know that I have this ambition, like, I want to play. Because in the barrack, my neighbor, the, my neighbor, he, he's a soldier guy, but he was young, so he joined the soldier, he joined military, like, early. Yeah. But he's also a good football player. So when he's going to, like, training, I was late to, he would take me along with him. Okay. To pitch to train with other soldiers, so I will be there. So that every if my mom didn't see me at home, they know I'm they with, know with this soldier <laughs> man. So they know it's something. Wow. Like that. Your dad and your mom, they were okay. You didn't have this trouble of oh, you have to become a doctor, a lawyer. So that that must have you know worked out well for you. Yeah, my. They did psychology. Yeah, my my um, my grandma and my mom. Yeah. Because I didn't grow up with my dad. So I drove with my grandma. Okay. So my mom was, she was living in Lagos. Yeah. So I was in Akura with my grandma, my granddad, and my granddad loved football, NT, Nigeria, Always. and not television, <laughs> but black and white. So my, he likes, he, he likes to go natural, so they, they know I'm that. So my mom, she stayed in Lagos. I remember my first trial, like big trial, I think it was Pepsi or something. She bought me this, um, that's when I started supporting Arsenal. She <laughs> bought me old Arsenal jersey. Like O2? Yeah, I think it's O2, but that time, like 20, I can't remember when it was that, but she just bought the jersey. No name, nothing. Not O2, dangerous. just Arsenal logo with um, Nike or something. Wow. Then from the Arsenal. Gonna find. <laughs> you know, the changing factor. When did all that happen? Okay, um, I was in that academy, I think. I just want to like. I like finished secondary school. Okay. Then, and um, you've always played in the secondary yeah, school. Yeah, school right from just one till I finish. Wow. So I think when I was, after the secondary school, I stopped going to the academy. You no, know, I was going, but I had this um, opportunity to go for trial for sunshine. Sunshine of Akure. in Akure, yes. So like, there's this man in one big major in Barak. So yeah. he introduced them to me, like, oh, I have a player. Come watch this guy. So I went, yeah, I went to Sunshine. I did try. They liked me, but I was so small. So they took me to Rising Star. You were so small then. I was small. Like <laughs> if you see me, they took me to Rising Star because you know Nigeria the match. You have to be physically. Yeah. Dead. So they took me to Sunshine and Sunshine Star. From there I went to uh, Rising. They took me to Rising Star. So from there, from Rising I play uh, Rising match one, I think, just for playing time. You understand? Yeah. So then we had another program that oh there's this scout coming from Europe from, yeah. from Latvia or something and this academy coming from Lagos they're coming to watch and I, I before that I went to Aspire also Aspire yeah I went to Aspire I make the list uh, in Akure I make the list of they picked only three players from Akure so I make the list so they took 50 players in total of Nigeria so we came to Lagos for like we could try 50 of us but they picked only three I didn't make I don't make that one. So I did the trial in uh, Akure. So, so when, this trial, did it at any point affect you? Like, oh, I didn't make it. No, no, no because I make from the state. Only three for Akure. And okay. you understand, it's good playhouse or around Nigeria. Okay. But it didn't, it didn't affect me. Okay. So they, we did this trial in Akure and they picked me, like five other players, to this academy in Lagos. Hmm. So when we got there, when you're like, champ, you know, when you're champion, you know, champion, local champion, local champion, you can't come. Yeah, I enter Lagos, like, in, oh I enter a bed for camp. Yeah. I saw, like, almost, if I'm not mistaken, you know, close to 60 players. Wow. I'm telling you this. Close to 60 players. And these guys, yeah. not be usually can be in Lagos, but <laughs> so good. So 60, 60 of us. When we got there, we were like five that came. Four, um, three already said, ah, we can, I can't stay here. Like, we need, our, I'm going back. So three left the next day. Three players left the next day. They said they can't stay here because most of the players from Akure, they really want to play some shine at that time. So three left. It was many two of us, 60 of us. So the first day I got there, 
the guy that the man that uh, sorry the man that picked me from Akure. So they, we they had like a friendly match the next day. Yeah. So he called the coach like, okay, you need to play for uh, me. I said to them, play Boniface, let him start the game so that the scout can see. So I played. The scout saw me. They liked me. So then they picked me for the academy. So inside sixty of us, we are like twenty five left. So then I was in the academy with Sapphire. Sapphire. Like a top academy. Yes. Yeah. So I was there for like two, two, three years. If I'm not mistaken. Two, three in Lagos. In Lagos. I know. If, if Why was it? Uh, tell me, Lagos. Ah, Life in here, Lagos. It was here to be honest. Wow. The man, of the the owner of the academy, normally feed us like um, twice, twice, twice a day. Twice a day. So, which is good, and my family was supporting me. Was there any pockets money or something? Maybe even in the match. So, then we get like 1,500. Wow. But for me, I, uh, I was lucky because the owner of the club really likes me. I don't know. So, sometimes he was oh, so they would give me a little money. And if I call my mom, my grandma, my dad, my granddad that time, yeah, sometimes they send me money with my brother also. So, but it was difficult, you understand? Yeah, so, I know. Without no uh, fixed salary or anything no, no, for two salary. years. More than two years. I remember we played the game against, you know, Alaji Gaffa. Alaji Gaffa, yeah. That's his line. That is his line. We lost the game. So, before we were going for the game, they were making beans for us to eat when we are back. So, <laughs> that is his line with Safari. It's like, I don't know, it's like deadly. They have, yes. They have yes. this. So this are, rivalry yeah, between, this, both, of between both of them. So, yeah. when you lose, it's problem. So, we lost that game. <laughs> When we no get beans. back, they, they, they took our beans like this and threw it away. I'm <laughs> telling you. Man. Moving from uh, Ondo Akure yeah. to Lagos, you know, did you have this cultural shock settling in, new style, the noise, you know, the buzziness in Lagos, no, no, the no, busy no. life? If you live in Barra, you can live in anywhere. I'm telling you this. If you live in military Barra, not police, but army Barra, I think you can live. Anywhere in Nigeria, anywhere. anywhere in the world. Like anywhere in the world. Military well, military is, no life is harder than you live in military bar. Since we just have to be going for you live in Barak, trust Barak me. Barak has prepared you mentally yeah, actually, yeah, for, actually, everything so. for everything coming. So will you say um that uh you know in one way will you give credit to that, you know, that lifestyle is going up in Barak? Will you of look course. back and say, Wow, of I'm course. glad I grew up in Barak? Of course. I, I post one of them. I don't post on my Instagram, which I said, um, how was that going to be? Just you grow up in the ghetto, meaning you can't grow. Not like joining the ministry is a bad thing. I'm a proud brother, bro, you understand, but yeah. I had my own ambition. It's a different part. Yeah, like, yeah. I, okay, I want to. I don't have anything I'm, I'm really good at. Like, I don't know if I have like another special talent apart from football. I don't know. Okay, from, from Lagos, yeah. from Rui Sapphire, how did you get to Norway? Europe. Okay. How did it happen? Okay. I went to under 20. My agent then, um, it knows like someone in the NFL, like they uh, invite some players for trial, to a trial. like academy boys to four hundred twenty. So I was invited there and they picked me. So I was there in the, I was there in the camp training and everything. But before then, my present agent, which is Atta, yeah. so he make a deal of one player um, one of my friends, Adeleke, to IK yes. start to Norway. And then the So from that IK start deal, they told him okay, that's the first time working with oh, my academy. So and they told him that okay, you like this guy, you took him to IK start. We have like player like him also in the Absolutely. academy, you can come and watch. So he came, he brought him some scout from Norway. So they, then I was in under twenty, so they came to watch. Again. The training in under 20 and they liked me, so then they invited me for um trial. But then I can't go because I was preparing for the for under 20 under the, yeah, uh, uh, nation's cup. Was it not? Yeah, it was nation's okay. Cup. Then you were preparing for under 20 nation's, nation's cup. cup. Yeah. Okay. So I remember one week before the nation's cup, I was already at my passport was in my embassy already. I applied for visa already. So we we're preparing. So they did they mention like they called the finalists of under 20. So they called the list today. I got injured in the following day. The following day, so I can't go. So the injury was like, um, they said two weeks. So and you got replaced with another strike. Yeah, I got was replaced. Yeah, I remember. was in the camp. So yeah. and I think after two or three weeks, the nation's call we have done. So what's the point of me going? But then none of them know that I was applying to travel to 
to, mm -hmm. to know you. So when they left, I was at the hotel, the, the coach, they kept me at the hotel for treatment. So one week, I, I got the call, like, okay, my visa is ready for me to come to Norway for trial. So I fly to Norway, you know. I fly, the struggle and everything, I didn't even care about the injury, but it was nothing so serious at that time. Yeah, because you, and we, they also told you in two weeks you should yeah, be fine. Two, yeah, two, weeks. Or, two or three weeks yeah. you should be fine. So I thought it was nothing serious. So I went to Valerina in um, Norway. So we went to Spain for a trial. So I did, I played, I played, played at my agent. We were two, two strikers that went to. And my agent said to me, oh, Vic, they didn't like you yet. They liked the other one, they prefer him. So, but you don't need in to Spain. worry. Yeah. Spain, they went to prison, said to me, You don't need to worry, I have so many options for you because they already some clubs already like you. But I brought you to Velerina because it was in Oslo, so we landed in Oslo the first day, so that's why. But you, you don't need to like start thinking, or no, I will take you to some other places to try. I said, Okay, sure, no problem. So I remember I, before going to Bodo for trial, my the president of the academy called me. And of Safari. Of Safari, and he said with with the coach <laughs> for that, and they said one thing to me. I will never forget. Said to me, "What will I tell people?" He said it this way: like, "What will I tell people?" Because I told people my academy is one of the best in Lagos, and you are one of the best players I have in the academy. What will I say to people that one of my best players went to Norway and can't even make a uh, pass a trial? I was so down with that word because he was trying to motivate me, but in a it got to you in the other yeah, way. Yeah, it got to me in the other way. And he said to me, like, when you're going to this new club, if you cannot sign, you will come back to Nigeria, but you will not travel now. You, my money, I waste my money on you. So I cannot just leave you. you either you, you have to pay me back. Either you become the coach of the academy or you find something <laughs> to pay back. I was like, it was funny at that time. At that time, it was stuck into my head. So when I got to Budo for trial, lockdown, luckily, me, the assistant coach came to me, said to me, I watched you play before. I like you, I really like you. But I want you to do something. This coach here, he like players that know how to press. So he just give me a tip of what the coach is expecting well, from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they, they like to press a lot, to run yeah. a lot. I said, oh, that was offensive. Is yeah, I said, oh, I said to him, oh, it's not a problem because I know what I'm looking for. Training, mm -hmm. I can never forget. My first, I was playing. You know, when you come to club, you know, you are, your first two minutes, the way you play and everything. You will know if they like you or not. You don't need to in trial. You don't need to play to outside, or you don't need to stay one week before they decide. You sometimes your first they matter most. So I remember my first training, like my touches and everything. Could the coach, the coach was like looking at the assistant, like they are just talking, talking. Nice. So the next day, we had a friendly game against all I think so. So uh, they told me I would play up to seventy minutes. So my first. They told you before the, before game, the game that I would play up to 70, 70 minutes. So we started the game. In the first 15 minutes, I scored one. Then in the next 40 minutes, I scored two. So I was in the dressing room and they took me out. So when they, they took me out, I asked the coach, the assistant coach, like, what happened? I, I told the guy, I said, I would play up to 17. Did I do something bad? He said, no, 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 Nice game, they say you score too and they really like you. So we start negotiating your contract and stuff. Seeing um, pictures of players signing contracts, some, you know, becomes emotional, some, you know, I don't know. What, tell me, you know, at that moment when you have the pain, yeah. how deep down, it was, tell uh, me, how was the feeling? The feeling is actually nice, you know, like, Seeing your future, I don't feel like okay, it's time for you to start working because the one you're doing for Nigeria is a joke. You understand? Coming to foreign land. Yeah. At that time, me, when they're telling me I, I will sign, I was more focused about give me, just give me the pen. Let me just sign. Because when they see you, you have a story like you say, oh, before, two hours before signing, something might happen. <laughs> it's like, Baba, tell this to I know, yeah. You, why are you explaining this contract yes. to me? You guys saw it already. Like, I know, you know, just give me the pen and you sign. You wow. So uh, when I signed, everything the the funniest thing is when I signed they they didn't post it yet. They're like we'll post it tomorrow. I said ah. So, <laughs> I told, I I told my media. agent something happened. He said no no it's fine. They just the perfect time tomorrow to post. I 
So early in the morning, I wake up, I text the media officer, what's up? And when are you guys posting this? They say, in the next one, I want time. Are you, you, so you the started point, looking? I did pray, but <laughs> may not see that. Even after signing? After signing, because. That's the Nigeria in us. Yes, <laughs> after four years, your village people carry back home. Wow, what a good one. Yeah. So now, uh, I Bogon reached out and you have to join the team in, in Germany for the preparation. Yeah. And what were you doing? The injury again? Yeah, we were what in Spain. Happened? Yeah, we were in Spain pre-season. So we played the friendly, played a friendly game. We kick yeah. a long ball, me and this defender. We jump, I land, land in. try to stand up, you I couldn't. can't. I try to stand up, I can't. So, and that was the day we were coming back to Norway. We were done with precision, so we are supposed to come, come back. back to Norway. So we resumed duty yeah. with your club. Yeah, so we came back. I was feeling the pain. At the airport, I was working crutches. At the airport, flight back. I went to my sled. We come. We had training the next day. I came to training. They took me to do scan. So I did scan. So let me tell you the funniest part about the injury. So we went to, after the scan, I came back the next day. The result is out. So and they said the doctor want to see me, so the doctor came. So we have we have a game to play in two weeks. So the doctor said, Oh Vic, I'm so sorry about this. I'm like you had you, you turn your ACL. I was like, okay, no problem. But will I be ready in two weeks? You know <laughs> He was laughing, he was like, Oh uh -huh. are you drunk? In Nigeria we never had this injury and we play in worse pitch. Uh -huh. You understand me? So when he said to me, this year. I said, okay, I said, will I be ready in the next game? He said, no, you are out for seven months. I said, you seven, seven, yeah. seven, eight, nine months. I said, ah, no. I said, go next year. I said, no, I can't go back. I just straight my leg. I said, no, you have to do surgery. You see, wait, it's so ah. I missed the World Cup. I did my surgery. I was out for six, seven months, I think. Going then, I was there. Oh. I can imagine. It was there. Because that was um, almost immediately after signing. Yeah, after signing. So it was there. So how, how was it for you? It was so difficult to be honest with you, trust me. I don't wish anybody to have that kind of injury. I don't wish anybody, you know, this year. Poof, at the early age of a career. You know, it's, it's, a, it's very, very scary. Yeah, it's I don't really last. Nice. Like people don't see. They only see how uh, he's playing, he's scoring goals. They see how uh, he's signing new club. Bro, footballers are human beings. We know what people are going through. At that, you know, at that time, my club was doing well. They were. So that means, Bodo. basically, in your mind, without me, these people these don't people. need you. They don't need me. Bodo, oh, six, zero, five. Bodo, this, Bodo, that. People be happy. Because I didn't tell anybody I was injured. Yeah. So they were like, how are you not playing match now? Your coach, that your coach now, Momo, why are you not carrying your match? I would say, no, my the coach, now send you there. I would say, okay, no problem. Because when you tell them, ah, <coughs> when they come back on this kind of thing, they avoid them. At that time, I don't want oh, to go associate with people. You understand? I just want to like, okay. So the doctor told me like, pass through that moment. Yeah, they told me like eight months, seven months. Luckily for me, my healing process was so fast. If my injury, I remember, yeah. like four, five months, I was already coming to the pitch, started playing, like oh, no. juju and everything. So six, six months. The injury was supposed to be eight, nine months. So I was training like this. I'm telling you, like full training, you know, five months like that. Yeah, I was playing. One day I just came to training and the physio called me and said, The coach wants to see you, but I don't know what they want to say to you, but he wants to see you. I said, Will you say yes, sir? The coach with me. But now you feel your your leg. I said, yeah, It's okay, but I, I need to wait two, three months before I can play with you. Well, the week you played in training is like, you understand? Know, it's like fully, you are yeah. fully. I said no, sir, but we want you to play the next game. Of course. He said, I'm not forcing you. But you're just proposing. Yeah, I'm not forcing you. Think about it. So I remember I went to my come here. My president of my club is like, but I had this coach. You might not mean it that way. I understand. Like texting me, but you really want me. To play for him to like brought it up because we have like two strikers then available striker available striker they are, they are score, scoring they are winning game you understand he said to me he said okay he said yeah if you feel okay let me know so i remember the next day i came to training we we're playing outside i was playing full game i played really good and everything he said okay i said to him okay i can play and he said to me 
I will not force it. If we are playing zero zero, I can bring you in. But if we are winning one zero two zero three zero, I will not want to bother you. So you understand. So so you don't get so, angry that. So yeah. Yeah. Essentially, no problem. Understand. So and I was on the bench like three four game. I didn't play. I was just on the bench. They were winning until one strike I got injured and I started playing. I played. I think I played the last seven seven game of the season. But we came second that year. We lost the league to uh, Mode in Norway. So the next year, then I was fit, ready to play. To play. So yeah. that was the year we won the league. What? The next season, which when we won the league, we played Milan. It's Milan in Europa playoff then. So we won the league. Mm -hmm. We won the league like there's still like six matches to go. So we have some other striker, Kasper. This guy was playing Bingos. I was the second choice. Mm -hmm. This guy, I trick too. I can't even complain to coach why I'm, why I'm not playing because it's kind of scary. Yeah. My agent just said to me, but we can't do anything. We just keep playing. When you reach your turn, be ready. I said, sure. Luckily for me, the guy got injured six game. Injured. I played six game. I scored almost nine goals. The guy came back against AC Milan. I was angry. Why they need to start this guy? But when I get AC Milan, they don't score in two minutes. <laughs> you too, you I can't okay. even say anything. <laughs> so after I won the league, the first injury was nothing, the second one is the worst. So after I won the league, then I, my agent called me about speaking to club roof. We agreed the price, negotiating and everything. So they like they showed me conversation of Bruch. They sent me like a video of the structure of the club, you understand? They sent me a video of Bruch, the stadium, the facility, training ground, everything. Everything about I have it on my phone up to this moment. So the match we played, we won the league away from home. This is the first time Bodo ever win the league. And the club has been there for like so many years. So they sent me everything about the club. I That's club brush. Club brush, the offer, everything. My agent told me, okay, yours is just for the season to finish. Instead of me going to Nigeria, I fly to Belgium for medical. Then they will talk to Bodo. Simple. I said, no okay. problem. They sent me the videos on my phone up to this very moment, the chat and everything. So, the last game, the game we played, which we were crowned champion, was away from me. And history of Bordeaux, they have never won the league. The first year I came, which I got injured, we came second. Yes. So, the other year, which we won the league, it was the first time. It was, it was the first time in their life. And you know, celebration of club, like when winning the league in the first time. And we lost only one match. We break every record, points, goals, most win away from home. Every record. You know, guys broke it. We broke every record, <laughs> so the celebration. We were partying, jumping, drinking, rejoicing. This thing I was telling you, like, still like four matches to go. Drinking, jumping, everything. All that celebration, like, really happy. Okay. Second year in Europe, I already won the league. When it's not coming from Nigeria. From Mustafa. From Mustafa. So I was really happy, partying. We went to Oslo Hotel, party in the hotel. The next morning we fly to Bodo in the plane with the drinking party. Came to Bodo, <laughs> left our luggage at the airport. We walked around the city drinking. The fans were, were waiting. The fans were waiting. <laughs> Came back home, slept for like one or two hours, go out again, continue the party. So we went to this last party at night. So after like to train at night, came back home. We have training the next morning, like seven o'clock. Yeah. So I woke up, my leg, the one I had injured before, slowly. It was so slowly. Ah! Oh, I was so scared. Like, God, what is this? So I went to the, I was so quick to train it, yeah, that I went, I fast, I put football shoe, I was jogging just to see. Before I will tell the doctor if to feel yeah, if, you, if you, something there is a pain yeah, or something. Yeah, so I was joking. I was it was okay, but you can see you can feel it. Yeah, I'm not okay. And I, hmm. spoke, I spoke to the doctor. The doctor told the coach I went to the scan. I just saw the doctor coming two days later with the fight. So I, don't know, yeah, I remember you. this. <laughs> Bro, you're so unlucky. <laughs> you you broke your ACL again. <laughs> I call my agent. We had a game that day. He yeah. said to me, Why are you not playing club? We just ask, say, uh, this year. They just told them, day off. Hmm. Bro. I just told the club, I said, I took to the president of Bodo, like the general manager and the coach. 
I said to them, please can I go home? <laughs> to Nigeria. To Nigeria. Yeah. I spent almost one month, three weeks in Nigeria. I didn't even think I'm a football player. I gave up. I'm telling you this. I gave up. If people are playing football, I'm walking, I will just ease and pass. I lost interest. Your second ACL. I lost interest. Like, I don't want to play football okay. again. I'm telling you this. If people are playing because football. Because of what you experienced in the first. In the first. And the second one was worse. You know why? I lost my mom during that time. Then I lost another offer. So of losing Club Bruce. losing Club Bruce, losing my mom, losing my leg. And you know you'll be out for six months. Maybe no, more. the second one is like almost one year with six months. <laughs> I didn't play for like one year plus. No, no I mean at the beginning when you yeah. saw that you had a swollen leg. So you already said, look, oh, I'll be out for like maybe six months. Yeah, six, you just seven, lost months, your mom no. and the offer from Club Bruce gone. is gone. So, so you completely lost, lost in I lost everything. Lost football. All right, I don't. If they are playing football, watching match, I don't care. If you see me, mm -hmm. I also I eat. I can, you know, like I forgot. No diets. Anymore. I forget about which diet. Is. So I you started eating everything. I started living normal life. You understand? Like I just want to be happy. I just want to try to do what will make me happy. Like this, even before surgery. You know? Partying, drinking. I, I, I With the drink. leg. I'm telling you, on the normals, I don't drink, but at that time, I was doing everything there. Would you say you were depressed? Of course, it's depression. If it's not depression, what is that? I was depressed. I can't do it. Like, nothing. My club was there, still playing league. Like, I didn't wait to get my medal and stuff. I left. I came home. Just, my grandma was like, okay, oh, please, come on, try it. And I said, my mother, I'll be fine, understand. Try to encourage me, stop agents, talk to me. Okay, don't worry. The Lord is with you. This this okay, I know. But this one, this one is gone. Like no, it's not me. If you see me, I was just doing everything. Doing everything. Like I totally lose interest in football. I don't want to I get to one point here. Yeah? I was even trying to get like which which job I will even do. You understand? I'm serious, I'm dead and serious. Like which job I would I do like? And when you play in Norway, you don't earn that so much good money that you you already set up something. You understand my point? Hmm. The money you earn in Norway, in Norway is like money taking care of you, your family, little way you can help. It's not like you understand. So it's not like I have something you if I don't play football. Some way that yeah, you like, are now used to invest on something. Yeah. So I was just thinking. And it was only two years now. Yeah, you only played two years in Norway. First, your first contract is not in Norway. So I lost interest. I don't want to. Play. Came back, the doctor saw me. The doctor was like, "You can't do this surgery now because you need to train. You need to build muscles first in your leg before." So, okay, sure, no problem. Footballers are going through a lot, too. I'm oh. telling you, I block, I block almost. I okay, I change number. I was only talking to at that time my brothers, like my uncles, yeah. my grandma, uh, my agents. agent. My president of my club, oh, Sapphire, and three of my four best friends. Oh, my grandma said, Mama, I don't want to play ball again. Ah, she said, with you. I said, Even yeah. after getting back to Europe, yeah, after coming back to Europe, I said, Mama, I don't want to play ball. She said, Why, Victor? I said, Mama, This is too much. This is too much. Like, after my surgery, I remember after my surgery. Bodo again, they were still informed, they were winning games. That's why we make it to conference league. To conference league. So during my injury, when we play Roma, when we beat Roma 6-1, I was yes. watching. So when we were beating Roma, people were scoring. When Botten, the striker, a good friend of mine, was scoring. And they didn't jam me. Hmm. And one thing, one thing, one, one other thing that kept me going is the fans of Bodo. They like me so much. They make a song for me. If I'm coming to the game, oh boy, if you don't be singing. People will be playing, you know. I will be at the stand, I will sit at the stand. They will be, instead of focusing on the players on the pitch, uh, it's me. Oh boy, if you don't be singing. So that little thing, okay, I started falling in love back to, to the sport, football, to the yeah. football. I started falling in love back, small, small. We will beat Roma 6 1 and everything. So, okay, God, okay, okay. This is a sign, okay. You mentioned God, are you religious? Of course, I'm Catholic. 
next season, which is last year, yeah, then I went to Nigeria, came back. Fit. Is gone. Not fit, I will tell you. Thing that thing of last of year is a thing affecting yeah, me. Yeah. Like recovery process. Scared sometimes, like me, before my injury, if I shoot, if I play short, you know, say you play short, you will get us out. But after my injury, I had a fear. Not I can't do it, but I had a fear. That caution. That caution is in the, your head. Hey, if this thing, you, are, you don't go there. So I said, I had a shoot, you understand? I did shoot. I stopped until last year. Last year, cost I can't play much. Mm. Can't get used to the game, study Again. Bangles, Bangles. Play, then we play the Champions League playoff, which I scored yeah. a trick. After the hat trick, play league game, score two goals in the FP. My phone was playing up. My agent. Ah, Bonnie, Bonnie. This, 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 but. Bonnie, look on. <laughs> you see, you know when they are telling you something, but at the end, they put bots. Yes. Command on the. Hmm. Okay, I go be. Because they are all still saying, is he fit? Still yeah. wondering if he's it, fit. Yes, it and this is an injury that is more of reoccurring. Yeah. They will not be scared. Ah, we'll like, wait. this is a gamble. If we take him, yeah. what if he now gets injured and he's out for six months? I know. Yeah. Because it's business. It's business. So, I mean, I understand. Because I said, boss, boss, just mm -hmm. one thing. I don't know. I just want, I'm, I want to be photo. I've tried. I've, I I was in Norway three yourself, years. Yeah. One league twice came, second one time, and second in the cup. We lost the cup final to Mode. So I've tried. So they they love me. There. I love them, but small small this. Just yeah. a little new challenge. So I need to. So okay, we we'll find. Then Union came in the picture. They Ooh. want me. They don't even. For me, uh, if I want to make like. A move. A move, yeah. I want to go to somewhere that I have this people see me of what I can bring to the team. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like yeah. if they really like him, not just we like him because he's scoring goals now, but what can what, he bring for the team? What is hardening and you know yeah. how will he improve this in team, team in general? Yeah, and how will the team help this guy? Also, that's help what him I got improve. from Bodo, you understand? I will learn that. So if I'm making a transfer to the other it's supposed to be a two way thing. Yeah. So you if bring I'm making, something, they're bringing something. So if I'm going, I'm going to like what type, what pattern suit me. I'm not the type of guy that wants to go and struggle in it. Like fight, fight. I can, I know how to fight all those things, but I want in a situation like you're now in a stage where you, yeah. you want to enjoy it and prove, yeah, you, you know, your worth. So when Union came, then my I told you my brothers they know about football. I called my brother. I called. I have this pastor. I that the coach that took me when I was little is yeah. also a pastor, he's doing like pastor work. Mm -hmm. So I called him, we prayed together. You understand? During that time, when I was in Jordan, he was calling me, praying for me, and stuff like that. I remember I watched like one of two of their games, and I watched the way they play. I called, I called my dad, I said, Don't worry, the union. I want to go to union. I, I remember they spoke to Bodo, we agreed everything. Yeah. Come, but Bodo said to them, I can't leave until I play one game against Olusin. And Olusin was the first team I played against when I came to Norway, my first game. And so Olusin again is the last, last team. team. Funniest part is I scored two when I, the first game. When I was leaving again, I scored them too. <laughs> so when I scored, after the game, after, <laughs> after the game yeah. against Olusin, I took my bag and everything to me. Because I will fly from there to come to, to Belgium. Belgium. You remember I spoke to you yeah, like yeah, the night. Like that, How will you assess your career so far? Yeah, in Belgium, I think it's been really good. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. we are in the semi-final in the cup. Mm -hmm. We are in top of the group in Europa League. Yeah. And second in the league, so I think it's really good for you, for, for me and the club. All right. And now you are in a league. You are Nigerian um, striker and have flourished. Yeah. Was we'll start from the days of Dan Debo, Daniel Amokashi. He actually scored 82 goals in 81 games. We've got Taiwo Awuneyi, Bigger, who passed through. We've got Mosi Simon. We've got Victor Osime, who at some point scored the fastest um, goal in this league, nine seconds before he was broken, maybe last season or thereabout. And most recently, big man, Paul Onwashu, uh, 37 whooping goals in the season. Looking at all these strikers, have you know, uh, they created names for themselves, yeah. 
Is there any pressure on you as a striker as well to also follow that path? Of course, as a striker, you want to score goals. You understand? Um, as your play, your your countrymen, fellow yeah, countrymen, countrymen pass through it. I mean, you just mentioned they are legends already in the game. The kid in this league already, they're like mm. top top strikers. Like this, you can learn from them. You understand what I mean? Mm. It's mm. it's a big pressure, you know. Like you want to you want to beat, you want to try and beat them in the goal scoring yes. and everything and leave a path and leave your own path. Your own day, yeah. Yes. But one thing with me and myself with those other strikers is I respect them a lot. They are top top players yeah. and everything. Yeah. If you watch my first interview I did with Union, yeah. I told them that Bonnie is not like that type of striker that we guarantee you fifty, sixty goals in a season. In a season like I respect top strikers that do that. It's not easy. So the way I play is not that type of striker that the way I play after goal. Not like I'm like I'm not of course I'm going after goal when it comes it comes to understand. Yeah. But if you watch me play, you will see I bring other things to a team that just goes you understand. I will give you an example. If if I'm not scoring in a game, I'm doing or something else. I'm trying to Make an impact in those Don't games. forget those your flips, your those assists. Like you bring that to the table as well. Yeah, you do that. that a lot now. Yeah. If I don't, you see me coming to the midfield to come and play, coming to the wings. Like you see some posts they post about me, like a Nigerian post, and everybody they put me as a winger. I'm not a winger. I'm a striker and stuff. But just because the, the way I'm you playing, see, yeah, sometimes this, maybe the last 10 or 15 minutes yeah. of the game you just be operating from the front yeah so that's me i respect like i said to you i, I know what i spoke to i recently i told uh Osime, like i said to him bro you are you're like a living agent you are you are motivating us we want to try to do this is not easy like you yeah. doing this in the top play say to pause bro you are like your kid is already you understand you want to do you want to do but i said everybody have different paths different career like they, Different way, like me. I, I, me, I'm that type of guy that I want to just have fun in the game. I want to enjoy the play. You came to watch the game against Braca. Okay, surprisingly, yeah. I scored two. But apart from you watched the game against Mamu. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I yeah, scored no, one. But, but the play, the, yes, you understand yes. what I mean? What you? Yeah, you, and that is what yeah. I'm bringing to the team. That's what I saw in Union before coming. Okay. If you, I'm not scoring, if I'm not, help yeah, this because guy's yeah, score. because when I saw Union, there's they had this striker. Uh, that went to Brighton, he scored a lot of goals. And Dante scored a lot of goals. So when I watched the game, I was like, okay, okay, I will try my possible way. If I didn't even score up to that a lot of goals, goals, yeah, I can bring in something else. That's and a good one. That's a good one. So that's me. But goal scoring, I really appreciate those things. Legend, top top players. And now how has it been settling down? Yes, the sir. fans, yeah, and, you know. What do you like about Belgium? About Brussels? I mean, yeah, uh, <laughs> Brussels is top. Like top fans, yeah. even no matter the derby. The... I see you. You Oof. pose. There's only one club in Brussels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know the, the derby. You know I played under like, twice. Yeah. I go one assist. So yeah. for me, it's, because I know when I play when I played under that, I know okay, this is a you derby. You feel it that yeah, this is this is top. Be sure, be sure, be sure. This is derby, and with what happened during my transfer with them, just pulling out, you understand. So I want to like prove you to them. You just have something to prove yeah, to them. Yeah, I want to prove to them like, okay. Because they backed out. Yeah, like, this guy can do it. So for me, I just want to play. I like, think it's like, always in every football. I say, oh, no, we'll pay for that. Yeah. Like, you get some team. Like a comeback. Yeah, you get some team. Like you go one play. Two for you. You go do say, ah, you want to die for this bitch. You understand that process derby. When I came, my first the derby we played at home. The turn up and everything. Crazy after that, and I scored in like four minutes. Yeah. Defense there, so. All right, so um, before we call it the wrap, um, where do you see yourself in the next three, two, three years? Because footballers, I mean, we don't know maybe in the next 10 games now you score 20 games. <laughs> I don't know Premier League or La Liga. I'll be, oh, oh, before you even tell us where you see yourself in the next two, three years. Yeah. Yeah. Almost every Nigerian player is your dream to play in the Premier League. Is it the same for you, or is it La Liga or Bundesliga? Or tell me which league do you prefer? I'm not asking clubs now, yeah, so yeah. I don't want to put you on the spot. People that people that know me really know yeah. me, my friends, close friends, we always have this conversation right from under 17 days, under 20 days. I 
provided out to the Premier League. It's not my. It's not something like. It's not my top two place to play. Really? But not like in a situation when a team will come, come for me. Won't I won't go. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I have the opportunity to pick, I rather play in Spain. I'm telling you, I rather play in Spain, France than. Oh, France! I see one you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I really like most of the is Spanish. Ah, I love okay. Spanish league so much. Ah, I love Spanish league. That's good. So, in the next two years, where do you see yourself? I don't know. You can, you can, you can just say you want to see. Yeah, tomorrow I'll tell you I want to see myself in Real Madrid. Tomorrow, maybe, <laughs> uh, Kosovo, you go there. So I just want to keep doing what I know how to do best. You understand? Give your hundred percent. Give hundred percent. Whatever yeah. comes in the future, I accept it. I accept my fate, you know.